Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert from Helton's Computer Repair. It seems that people have been trying to uninstall Vast, and they've been trying to do the steps by going to Settings, and Apps, and looking for Vast since it's missing, or let's say if it doesn't want to uninstall. Another common one that's out there is going to the Control Panel. And when you get to the Control Panel, you'll see Programs, and Programs and Features, and then you'll see a Vast, and you try to click Uninstall, or you click the file, and it doesn't want to work. So on this video, I'll be showing you how to get Advast removed by using a simple tool from Advast themselves. Let's go ahead and get started. Want to stay in touch from the latest videos? Click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you won't miss the next episode. All right, guys, so what we're gonna have to do is go to a browser. I'm gonna simply just gonna go to Google Chrome. Once you get to there, there's lots of ways you can just simply type the title, but instead I'm just going to go ahead and type in Advanced Removal Tool. And here's the link, depending on your different locations. This one's in English from US, could be set up in a different location where you're at. But this is your file. You'll click it and give it a little second for the site to come up. And then you'll see this option right here where it says to download the advancedclear.exe on your desktop. Go ahead and download that file. I could take a little few seconds, and once it's there, go ahead and run that file. You will probably be prompt on this. Go ahead and press yes if you want this to work. And I'm gonna go ahead and X this browser because I don't think I need it anymore. Right here, it's gonna ask you if you want to go in safe mode. You have the option by choosing yes and no. Press no, it may have problems trying to uninstall this program. For this choice, I'm gonna go ahead and press yes to allow this to work. And here is letting you know that it will restart on safe mode. I'm gonna go ahead and press yes and let the system load. Letting you know I'm using a virtual computer, so the layout on this video might change. Um, it may vary, as you understand, I'm using a virtual box system. So here's the computer logging in right now. Um, give it a few seconds. And here's a vest pretty much coming up. This is one of the main things you're going to support because he's wondering why we're going in safe mode. I'm just going to X this out. We do not need that file. And let Advast continue doing its work. So here's your choice right here. Welcome to the Advast Uninstall tool. Select what version you want to be installed. There's different ones. There's Pro, Security, there's Business Securities that they used to have out there. The one that we're trying to choose is the free antivirus protection one. And we're going to go ahead and press Uninstall. Now, it does matter if you have installed in a different locations, but usually by default, these are where the locations are stored at. So go ahead and press uninstall and let it proceed doing its work. And here it is, the product has successfully uninstalled. Let's go ahead and restart the computer and see what happens if it's still there. Here's the computer loading up, and we're going to check and see. And it looks like Vest is gone, and I do not see it coming up. Let's go ahead and go to Settings, and we're going to go to Apps, and see if Vest is in this list. Right now, I do not see it in this list, so let's go ahead and let's check underneath the control panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to search bar and type in control. You don't have to type in the whole thing, you can type in control panel, but it comes up by default. And then I'm gonna choose programs and select uninstall program, or heck, you can just use programs and features that go to the same place. And then it seems that Avast is gone out of this list. So this video shows you how to officially remove this tool from Advast. And if you have any other problems, let me know. And also let me know if you have problems out here from different troubles that you're having on your computer. Um, I'll be glad to make another video for it. And again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on our next video.